Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Ace Attorney Trilogy. Last time we finished off Reunion and Turnabout, the Reunion and Turnabout, bleh. This time we're starting Turnabout Big Top. I'm gonna say this again because I think it's important that we all know. Uh, this case does have a minor who has adult men proposing to her, and it's gross. She's 16, men are like 21 and 30, something like that. Yeah, so if that if that makes you uncomfortable enough to not want to watch, then skip this case. Um, if it makes you uncomfortable, but not enough to not want to watch, that that's logical. If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, that's kind of weird. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm gonna start the case now. Let's go. Uh, yeah, not that button. Anyway, let's get going. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show! Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight! Enbies aren't allowed to come to the circus, I'm sorry. It's boys and girls only. Bit rude, really. The world's greatest magician! The one, the only! Maximilian Galactica! So yeah, this is Max Galactica. He can fly. Sort of. I mean, obviously he's using wires and stuff. It's not, it's not actually capable of flying. <laughs> December 26, 8, 12 p.m. Very big circus. Circus entrance. Wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There was a dancing bear, and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant that rode a giant ball, not to mention that guy who flew through the air. Yeah, Max Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What? Max... Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A magician? No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick? Huh? What is it, Pulse? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pulse? I'm sorry. I love Pulse. I braved the winter cold and took pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Q-Rain Village, and it was during that trying time that I met pearls. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. Ah, <sighs> it's time to go. You're right, we can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remembered the train? Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's gotta be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You were going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I am glad you'll get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Pearly, look, it's time to go. Happy New Year, Mr. Nick! Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. December 28th, 9.12am, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Hello? This is the Wright and Crow Law Offices? Nick, it's t t terrible Ah, oh, Maya. Perfect timing. Things are terrible here too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? Now let's check in at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. The scene has created quite a stir amongst the throngs of excited onlookers. 
The very, I mean, the very big circus? That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Uh, arrested who? Whom, Phoenix? Whom? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! Maximilian Galactica. Fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the air through the sky at will. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Alright, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh? What? See you there. You've still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? Beep. Okay, so I don't understand why the office needs cleaning. It looks the same as normal. It looks fine to me. I feel like they could have maybe put some garbage in the in the scene, they look a bit different, but it looks completely normal. So I don't know. December 28th, 11.19am, Detention Centre, Visitor's Room. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand? Slight, sleight of hand is spelled with an E, not, not just an I, it's like S-L-E-I-G-H-T? Yeah. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing! Fabulous! What that young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events! What's with all this fabulous talk? Welcome to the visitor's room! It's Max! Nick, look! It's the real Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie, pick a card, any card. He, he, he called me sweetie! Oh, Nick! <laughs> Time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. Th this one. Uh huh. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. Ah, he got it. He got it, Nick. Look, he got it. What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Max. Oh. Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time! Max, you should let Nick pick a card! Eek. I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are? Oh, how silly of me! You must be Zoidi's driver! Her driver? Whatever, hurry up and pick a card, any card! Um, I want this one. So, sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Y yes I'm your biggest fan! Fabulous! Absolutely fabulous! Thank you so much! Hey, um, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Uh, oh yes! Absolutely fabulous! Absolutely cringe-inducing. Phoenix, come on. Cringe culture is dead. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better too! Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us? Oh sweet jeebus, what in the world? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear! What is this guy talking about? Anyways, uh, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head! Get it straight! Jeez, people nowadays, they get their panties all in a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed, it was fabulous! I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Musicians. Magicians, not musicians. <laughs> Magicians! 
It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabulous, fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. That was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab, I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for the most modest magician. You were signed to an exclusive contract with the Very Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right, you're so right. However, the circus, it's a dinosaur, a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the very big circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Yes? I made all the old Krusty Circus performances obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. My looks a bit down. Tell me what happened at the very big circus. Ah, uh, last night, the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? Y you mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Question you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening, in his room. So then, why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an antel into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters, that's all. Nick, I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back into reality. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster. Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please to ask him? What did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Y yes That's all you talked about? Of course, it was a fabulous chat. <gasps> I talked about something else. Just fabulous. I mean, ugh, now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Remember, Maya can't see the Psyche Locks because she doesn't have the Megatama, because we have it. So she doesn't know what just happened. Ugh. Anyway, uh, in, oh, in case you're wondering, Max is wearing pants. Like, he's not wearing a shirt, but he is wearing pants. You just can't see that. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we want to show him our badge because we can shock him back to reality with that. It's also the only thing we have that we can show him besides the Megatama, and we have no evidence yet, so we couldn't crack open that Psyche Lock. What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? And why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time. Max, you're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? B because you've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica! So? I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means? I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. That's right. Laws don't apply to rich people. We all know this. 
Which means what? Max? We're joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. I mean, a cab. So maybe they do. Look at Max. He's crushed. Well, you need to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um. Um. Yes? P Porky, I mean, sir. You're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm an attorney. Please help me! I didn't kill nobody! Didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? That's insane! I. I. I could never! M Max? I swear! I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay, I'll take your case. R really? Really. Oh, uh, thank you much. No, I'm sure are nice folks. Um, Max? Yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Johns. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin. I mean, that's a bit rude. Like, if he's he says his name is Maximilian Galactica, his name is Maximilian Galactica. It's not Billy Bob Jones. <laughs> God. I am. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney. Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Um, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? Well, how did he... You got it right again! What can I say? You too, you've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Okay, we're allowed to go to the circus now. Finally. December 28th, very big circus. Circus entrance. We're here again. Yep, but this time we are here for work. Hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the, on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. <laughs> Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so first up we're gonna head over to the lodging house. December 28th, Lodging House, Plaza. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So you might run into that stoogy clown here, right? He's so kooky. Ah, it's you two. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. How is it you guys always seem to know when I'm working on a crime scene, pal? Working a crime scene, sorry. Pal? Because you're always working, Detective. Well, I'd rather not be always working. With crime, you don't make your own hours. Sure you do, you just have to do the crime instead of, you know, solve it. You can make your own hours then. I have to be at the circus anyway, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick, Nick, he complained! <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Rarity. What a cutie. Oh, do you know who will be the prosecutor in tomorrow, court tomorrow? Of course, it will be Ms. Von Karma. Uh, she isn't gonna hit me with a whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure Ms. Von Karma's really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? Like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. You know, Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeworth. What in the world happened after I went back home? M Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? 
Nick, what does he mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? N Nick? The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10pm. He died outside in the cold. Pretty sad way to go out if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you were standing right now. Ah! <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Hey, excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Yeep! It's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But... But? There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Huh, there always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? This wooden box under the body? No clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. And? And? What is so mysterious about the footprints? Oh, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there. Bingo. Where did the killer come from? And where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying culprit? That's when something just clicked in my head. <laughs> There's no way! <laughs> flying is impossible! That's right, flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I'm sure I was hollow enough. Ha 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 ha. There we go. I meant nothing by it, pal. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him? Crime photo over the court record. Okay, I've got to ask about Max now. Oop, there's Max. Looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Hmm, he's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude, I've got some proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have very classic decorative elements. Silk hat added to the court record. Matches a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they're easy to understand. I must have hit a nerve. That's what he said? That's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. Huh? T tell us about the eyewitness. Um, so about the eyewitness. <laughs> oh, you know I'm not gonna tell you about that. That's the prosecution's trump card. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you were too barred from entering that lodging house. Why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. It must be because that's where the eyewitness is. Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. We are gonna go in there and check it out. Moe's room. December 28th, lodging house. First floor, Moe's room. I wonder whose room this is. The name tag on the door says Mo on it. I guess he's not here. Wow, it's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse, though. Oh well, I give up. We'll have to come back later. Yeah, we can't do anything there yet. We have to head to the big top. Which is over here. December 28th. Very big circus. Big top. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it! 
Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Tiger! He's coming this way! That's how Phoenix died. It's eaten by a tiger. Nick, you're too young to die. Nick! Stay, stay, heal! I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick, Nick, are you okay? <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? Regan is such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter, me? Nick, you almost died there. Huh, he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? I guess. What do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume! Huh? It's cute! I want to try it on! Costume? You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. Really? <laughs> You're the best! Wow. The tables turn quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Very Big Circus. My name's Maya Fey. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Can you put us up next to a spirit and an animal tamer? I bet we really look odd. Nice to meet ya. Uh, likewise. So this is Regina. She's the aforementioned 16-year-old girl who has multiple adult men proposed to her. So, yeah. Gross. She's very cute, though. Thankfully. Uh, she's my daughter, and I will protect her from old men. Hey, Regina. What do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait, what did you just say? So, the ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to you. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10pm. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent? So she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. That's incredible that you are an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary, he's cute. Ever since Leon died, regent has been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion. Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon. He died? Yes, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Phoenix, she's a child. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we have to ask her about her dad, who is this guy, Russell Berry. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. 
Thanks, Regina. So, yeah, we have to go here. This is important. December 28th. Big Top. Ringmaster's room. This was the ringmaster's room? Yes, this room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, that is what he said. I wonder what... Hmm. Nice interesting poster. Ah, it's a poster of Max! I want it, I want it! Nick, I want it! I want to get out of here. Okay, um, there's two things we need to do in here. First we want to look at this file here. It's a table for guests. There are some papers scattered on the top. Oh, look at this! Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes! What is it? I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible! She looks like she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? Is it that much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. Incredible, huh? <laughs> this must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise, but this document is dated a week ago. Ringmaster's paper is added to the court record. So the other thing we need to do in here, which I missed on my first recording, is you have to look at these po posters that Maya was talking about. You can't go out of this room without doing that, it won't work. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Maya, they're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But, but, you didn't even notice that I took one. Well, she already swiped one. <laughs> You're incorrigible, you know that? Big A do crimes, Nick. I think there's something else we need to ask about here, but I forget what. Max, maybe? It's Max! Hey, where is Max now anyways? Y you don't know? Nope. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay. Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm. Like what? <laughs> Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? <laughs> I'll tell you, Maya. But just you. Ah. Um, well... <laughs> what? Really? And then... <laughs> oh my, that's incredible, Regina! Come on, Nick, there's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. Yeah, it's gross. Here we go. <sighs> gross. P -p -p profess their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. And then on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. What? Who was it? Someone named Trillo. Trillo? Apparently he's a tenor who sings in the circus. Hmm, haven't met him yet. And Gina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. You're not kidding. Two people in one day? Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too. She's so cute. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the only person who's allowed to profess their love for Regina is Maya. So... Yeah, everyone else seems to leave her alone. Maya is a reasonable age. Max is not. And Trillo, who we'll meet later, really is not. December 28th, very big circus, circus entrance. Huh? Hey Nick, look over there! What? There's someone over there. Uh, excuse me? Hello? Wow, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me! What? Huh? Huh? M me? Yes, you work at the circus, don't you? N no, I'm just an every average Joe. An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Y yes I am. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. 
He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus dressed like that. I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix, right? I'm a spirit medium. My name is Maya. Well, I, um, I just happen to be, um, passing by? I don't suppose you have to be some kind of carny? Not a c carny. I'm a performer. Actually, I'm a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? <laughs> I'm B Benjamin w w Woodman. The last name is Woodman? <laughs> yes, th th that's right, B but everyone c c calls me B B B Ben. Ah, yes, 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 that's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. I mean, that's just a shortening of Benjamin, it's not really a stage name. We can't get a whole lot out of Ben just yet. Um, excuse me, Ben? Uh, yes, you mean me? About the murder. I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. R really I'm just a regular normal guy. I don't know. This guy's so nervous, he's creeping me out. Nick, cheer up. Just try and smile. Yeah, we can't get any information out of him yet. I think we need to talk about Max, though. Would you mind telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactica. M -m -m Max? He is n -n -n not v very n -n -n nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? Uh, ow, my h head hurts. Yikes, I hope he's okay. It sounds like he just popped a gasket. Okay, so yeah, we need to get some more information before we can help out Ben. So we're gonna head up to Moe's room. I believe he'll be there now. Yes? December 28th, lodging house, first floor, Moe's room. Hello, Kablamo! Congratulations, you're the big wiener! A one million visitor to the room, Mr. Mo Carls, aka me! Ah, earplugs. Must find earplugs. To celebrate this momentous occasion, would you care for an organic grape? Just one. Did you get my joke right there? <laughs> I welched on giving you more than one! Um No no no, if it was funny, it's your duty as a human being to laugh. People who don't laugh are usually last seen in Lansing. Catch my drift? Ah, 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 ah. Uh, Maya? Ah, 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 This is like some Faustian nightmare. Come on, it was funny. Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book, they're just funny looking. Sure to have great tasting clothes, girly. Look at that garb. You look just like Greta Garb. Oh! Ha 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 I don't get his jokes at all. <sighs> I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't. You know, I can excuse a bad joke or two, but this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to. Hey, laughing at your own jokes is cute. Just, just look at me. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. You have to admit he is kind of funny. No, I don't have to admit that because he isn't. So yeah, this is Mo. He's kind of annoying and a major character. Could you please tell us more about the very big circus? It's a very big story. You sure you got that kind of time? And the hits just keep on coming. This circus has been in business for 20 years. We were all performed under the guidance of the ringmaster, Russell Berry. 20 years? Wow! Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TV, and bowling, there's just too much competition. But, but, I love the circus! I love it too! That is why I've been here for 20 years! We work hard to keep the show running, no one sends in the clowns on us! Nick, you just made a joke! Laugh! Ha, 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 ha. The ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus world. A real class act. Even when there were no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me. Because he knew that I had a family to care for. He was happy to take care of his employees. I see. How could anyone do that such a wonderful man? Mo. Wiggity, 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 what? Ugh. 
I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humour. Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Let's talk about the murder. Ah, uh, let's see. It must have taken place around 10pm last night. After our hustles were finished, I was tucked out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime. Just as we suspected, this guy is the eyewitness to the crime. The ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements? When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. Hmm. I realise that even my act can get a bit long in the tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, uh, old-fashioned. A bit long in the tooth. But that make-believer takes things too far. Make-believer? The magician, the one that thinks he's all high and mighty. He had the gall to say to me, you're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean, one of those? Well, the joke's on him now. On him? Yep, he got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder. Go ahead. Nope, no way. Just forget I said anything. But he's still hiding something about Max. You say you saw the crime. Do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me that I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word, pal. I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay zipped. That's not fair. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details, but only if you can get old stiff lips here to make with the funny. Stiff lips? Wait, do you mean me? Nick, you can do it. Ahem, ahem. What's the matter? Just getting ready. Okay, do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. At least his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Yeesh, cut a guy some slack. At least it was funnier than Chuckles over here. It wasn't the greatest joke I've ever heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. That night, once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw... Without question, without a doubt, it was that magician. That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is. He knows more about Max than he's letting on. Okay, we need to ask about Max. Like so. Hmm, if he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's only just that he, it's only just that he should die too. Mark! Sorry, I crossed the line. He truly is a disgusting human being. Why do you hate him so much? Well, let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clunked Ben right over the head as hard as he could. Ben? The ventriloquist with the speech impediment? You should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourselves. The cafeteria? Let's just say there's got to be something interesting there. Ah yes. Very big circus is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. Ah, thank you. Uh, this is an atlas. <laughs> oh, I kill myself, really. I'm dying here. Coronary, coronary! Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. Circus map added to the court record. So we actually did get a real map as well as that joke. If we have a look at our map now, you can see. There we go. Oh, we're not allowed to go to Acro's room yet, but we will later. We can go everywhere else. So, right now we want to go to the cafeteria, which is this direction. Uh, big top. Hi, Regina. I love you. My precious, precious child. December 28th, big top, cafeteria. Ugh, this place is gross. This must be because of last night. I didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me, what was it that Mo said? He said that yesterday morning Max clonked Ben over the head here. He also said that there's gotta be something interesting there. 
Nick, what's gotta be interesting? Don't ask. Don't ask. Hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't understand that joke. It's weird that the game didn't explain it for you because I don't get it. Um, anyway, we're here to find this broken bottle. What's this? Must be a juice bottle or something? Ah, watch out, Nick, there's broken glass all over the floor. Hmm, a broken bottle just lying in the middle of the floor. Do you think it means anything? There's got to be something interesting there. Huh? Looks like we're going to have to go back and meet go back and meet with him. Him? Broken bottle added to the court record. Okay, so we have the broken bottle. That's all we need to go back and see Max. Um Before I thought we had everything we needed, but we didn't have that poster in the previous recording. So I'm glad I remembered that this time. Don't have to waste time wandering around. December 28th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Oh, it's my two sweeties! Welcome to the Detention Center! <sighs> Did he just call me his sweetie again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we've gathered quite a few clues. Wonderfully fantabuloso! I mean fabulous! That's why we came to meet with you again. What's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Okay then, Max, let's make this absolutely fabulous. So yeah, we need to present uh, Magatama. Like so. Meeting with Russell. Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such? Exactly! We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract! That's the truth? The whole truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary. I hate liars, and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Yes, we have these papers that said you got your raise a week ago. <laughs> Th that That's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said that you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is dated a week ago. Max, you finished your contract negotiations a week ago. F -f Fabulous! <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Uh, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about? Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room that night? Uh... It's Regina, right? Apparently that was the wrong answer. Don't look at me like that. This isn't easy for me, you know? How about it, Max? How about what? What do you expect me to do with this? Let me guess. You're showing me that so I can make it disappear for you, right? Okay, I forget what the correct answer is, actually. No, 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 please don't make it disappear! Hmm, I'm gonna try again. I know it's to do with Regina, but I forget what object I'm into present. Is it the, is it the juice bottle? No, it's not. Sworn it was that was the right thing to present, but it's not. Um, what am I doing wrong? Dang it! I didn't mean to quit out. An accident. Yeah, if you quit out, you have to do the whole thing over again. But you can fast forward; it's, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it is. 
Isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? The cafeteria. But you already knew that, didn't you? Uh, of course. It fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max. What is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. You used this bottle to... Clonk Ben on the head. Ben. You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. That night. F fabulous! You might as well be a magician! Okay, that heals us back up, so the fact that I messed up, it's not a problem. Good. <laughs> the truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast, we had a run-in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. We fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would you put up with that? Ill-bred? Are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her? Are you sure this is Ben we're talking about? All I can say is that he made me mad and I had to tap him on his hard head. That's when the ringmaster called me and I realised that it was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's why I went, my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie and no one else's. She's not yours. She's, she's a child. She's, uh, I hate this. Hmm, I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I guess I had to shut him up. Shut him up? Um, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Trillo can't say a word, not without Ben. Trillo? Puppet. Ventriloquist puppet. His real name is Trilloquist. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hit it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flapping off at the bolsa, I'd be screwed. You hit him? You mean the ventriloquist's puppet? You are so smart, sweetie. Um, where did you hide him? What? Sweetie? You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous! That should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hid Trillo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweets? No problem. None at all. Thank you, Max. You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. Then don't go hiding puppets. Okay, so I have to go back and get the puppet. Huh? Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. It's cold out, he's probably in the tent. December 28th, very big circus, big top. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative, of course we're making progress. But everyone loved the ringmaster. And there's no sign of footprints on the scene? There's still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course. And now Regina isn't here. I'm not seeing how that's related. Okay, so we go to the ringmaster's room. December 28th, big top ringmaster's room. It looks the same as always. A great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. Will you just stop it, you poster pilferer? I'm just kidding. You know I already got one of these posters. You mean stole one of these posters. Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Max told us. He said that he hid Trillo somewhere in this room. Trillo. Oh, the ventriloquist puppet. Be gay do crimes, Nick. Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed, just look at all the awards this circus has won. Like, all-county quiz champions, ringmaster's association mini-golf master, 
Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ? Pet Grooming Grand Prix? Wow, the Ringmaster was multi-talented in ways I could have never imagined. Hmm, there's something shoved under the bookshelf. This is... That's Trillo! That's Ben's puppet! I think you're right. We'll give it back to him Like We'll give it back to him later. Trillo Quist handed over to Maya. Maya. Why do I have to carry this thing? It's not a bookshelf anyway, it's a trophy case. Why did I say it was under the bookshelf? Anyway, now we go to the cafeteria. Like this. December 28th, Big Top Cafeteria. Oh, hey Ben! Uh, um, uh, uh, uh hello. Hello to you too, it's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Y y yeah uh, uh, d doing great, do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. So we're gonna give him back his puppet. Here you go. Ah, Ben, this is yours, isn't it? Y y yes th that's mine. Here you go. Trillo Quist returned to Ben. All right, Maya, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Uh, okay. So, Nick, where are we going next? Let's see, maybe we should go talk to the clown once again? Hey, wait! Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench! What's your problem anyways? Don't you know how to properly greet someone? Ben? Is that you, Ben? No, 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 I would never! It was me, yeah, me, down here! You, you're... Trillo? That is Mr. Quist to you, sir. Learn some manners before you just blurt out my name. I'll try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect. Not again. Ugh. Mr. Quist. Is that better? No. Look at me when I'm talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney. Get it? Because it's a video game, and, and computers were 8-bit in the past. I mean, this, is, this was made for the Game Boy Advance, which is a 32-bit system, but whatever. <laughs> Trillo, we talked about insulting people, you promised. But he was mocking me, not being mean to bullies was not included in the deal. I'm so s I'm sorry, Trillo. Nick, what just happened? Trillo is still a puppet, right? A ventriloquist puppet? Hey, who do you think you are, calling me a puppet? Okay, we want to talk about what happened. Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I said you talking to me? Don't look at him when you're talking to me. Trillo Quist, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody. What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. That old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trillo, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have nerve pills or something to take right now? These two are really an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Graham's got clobbered over the head. The ringmaster got knocked upside his cheap head by that flying fraud. You mean Max Galactica? Why do you say that? Trillo, straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. Straighten up? Made of wood. Besides, you were there. You know what happened. You were there? <laughs> if you're that interested, then I'll let you in on the facts. And we lay it all out for you. The pay sucks, the clown sucks, my partner has his hand up my pants. Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah, the creepy old guy who finds it himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off for me, will ya? He said another one of the dorks around here. Oh my. I'll be fair. In this cesspool of human garbage masquerading as performers, I found my Madonna. Your... Madonna? Regina, my lovely Regina. She is stunning, right then? Well, I'm not sure I would go that far. Doctor, excuse him, he doesn't understand of what he speaks. I, on the other hand, would appreciate her true beauty, hence why I shall marry her. M -m -m marry So yeah, this is the other guy who's into... into Regina. Um... Being a puppet, he doesn't really have an age, but Ben is 31, so... Yeah. You... you're going to marry Regina? That's right, she doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? I think I'm beginning to see why she seems troubled. Well, she... I don't care. It is my choice, not hers. We're getting hitched. Gross. I don't like you, Trillo. I know you think that, but... 
But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. I'd be happy to know that I decided to grace you with one of my songs. Me, 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 me. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to... The rest is private. Well, um, the melody is pretty good, but those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'm the artist here. Um, uh, thanks. N now that Trillo's here... Now that Trillo's here, does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, buttface. Ah! Must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh... You know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. Tr Trillo? No, jibber jabber, let's get to court already. Ah, oh, hey, wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Ugh. Okay, we're nearly done with the investigation now. One more thing we need to do, and that's get our badge stolen. December 28th, very big circus, big top. Hmm, what in the world happened with Ben and Trillo? Quite a pair, those two. What did that puppet see anyways? Ooh! Oh no, now what? Ooh, ooh! Ah! Yow! Ah! Hey, welcome back, Nick! D that monkey. Ah! My badge! That monkey stole it! What? <laughs> Mr. Attorney, that face was so cute. It looked so completely dumbfounded. Regina. Hugh, that monkey. Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But, 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 my attorney's badge. Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? By the way, that monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. His name is Monk Money? The monkey is called Money? Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do. Even I have money problems. Huh? Whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out where money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Huh? You don't know? Well, money isn't exactly someone I'm on friendly terms with. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Go to Mo's. Hmm. I guess it is time that I revisit that kooky clown. Do you mind telling us about Ben? Ben? You mean that guy is always hanging, ar hanging around with Trillo? What do you mean, hanging around? Well, he was there when Trillo told me that he was in love with me. Trillo told you he was in love with you? Yes, he did. Kinda cute, don't you think? He's so smart and he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. But, what about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trillo. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? Nope, that won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Trillo both said otherwise. They said they asked for a hand in marriage. Oh, Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. Forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for a hand, not Regina directly. So I guess Trillo hasn't asked her directly yet. What? He's gonna propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh? What? Who do you think I should go for? Max or Trillo? Wait, wait. You don't realize that Trillo is... a puppet? Huh? I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Oh boy. So yeah, gross. You should not go for Max or Trillo, you should go for Maya, because she's the right age and she's in love with you. <sighs> De 
December 28th, Lodging House, Plaza. Huh? Detective Gumshoe took off already. Yeah, probably because we ditched him earlier. I bet he and the other cops got lonely and head back to the precinct. A cab. Okay, Mo's room. December 28th, Lodging House, first floor, Mo's room. Oh my, if it isn't Mr. Right all the time! Ugh. It's all right to be wrong every now and then, right? See, Nick, it just took a while for the joke to find its audience. <sighs> so what can I do for you? Did you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair, or maybe just pull my finger and let me have it. We're gonna get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? How'd you know I put a whoopee cushion on the chair? Oh. oh, sorry, a whoopee. A whoopee cushion. This should be two O's. You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Ah, oh, yes, Money. He stole my attorney's badge. Well, Money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he'd swipe your badge. Under no circumstances can you chase after him. Huh? Why's that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? Exactly! Bravo! Bravo! Enough joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. And who does he belong to? I'll be happy to take you to where his owner is staying. You mean right now? Of course. Shall we go? Hmm, should we go with him now or wait a while? Go with Mo. December 28th, Lodging House, third floor, Acro's room. <sighs> <sighs> this is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You need to climb two flights of stairs. <sighs> Anyways, this is the place, Acro's room. Acro? He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today. Huh. There's a big tile of junk over in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there too. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. Thanks, Mo. See you later. Money the monkey added the court record. So yeah, I was gonna search this pile here. Holy cow! There's a fork and a mirror. Everything's shiny. It's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this, it's a trophy, and it's really heavy. Nick, I found it! Your badge! It's right here! A Tony's badge returned to its rightful spot on the lapel. Thanks, you really saved me. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring. There's something engraved on it, from T to R. Ring put in pocket. Well, I think that's about time we wrap, our wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow? Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we've still got a magician on our side. And that's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. We might need some magic tomorrow. Yeah. To be continued. Okay, so that's the end of the first investigation segment in this case. Uh, next time we'll start, the, we'll start the trial. It does involve a bit more of Regina's suitors, which is gross, so that's, oh, that's not good. Uh, I guess I'll save into that file. I'll leave that one there just in case of emergency. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you weren't, too unco made, you weren't made too uncomfortable by the grossness of this case. Um, but yeah, next time we start the trial, look forward to seeing you there, if you're still watching. <sighs>